Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to splice, slice and spice. Slice and splice. You are given two arrays and an index. Use the arrays methods slice and splice to copy each element of the first array into the second array in order. Begin inserting elements at index n of the second array. Return the results, resulting array. The input arrays should remain the same after the function runs. So they don't want us to um, mess with the arrays, with the, with the, the data. Um, so this should return 4, 1, 2, 3, 5. 4, 1, 2, 3, 5. 4, 1, 2, 3, 5. Four, one, two, three, five. Returns the resulting array. A B one. A one two B. Oh, I see. So we want to place this array in the position here. Okay, so Frank, Frank, Frank and Splice. Claw, tentacle, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And we want to do it in position two. So zero, one, two. So this should be head, shoulders, claw, tentacle, head, shoulders, claw, tentacle, knees, and toes. All elements from the first array should be added to the second array in their original order. The first array should remain the same after the function run. The second array should remain the same after the function runs. Okay, so we want to, first off, we're going to create... We're going to say let result equal an empty array. And then we're going to return the result. And we want to console.log this because we want to be able to see what we're working with here. So right now we're returning an empty array. And so, <clears throat> okay, so I think the way to do this one is just going to be result.push. So we're just going to add on elements. And we're just going to say, uh, well, first off, we want array. Uh, the second array, wait, wait, wait we want four dot uh, slice uh, zero to n. Okay, so what does that mean? Oh, and we want to go dot, dot, dot here so that we don't get that extra array set, set in there. So now we're returning the four. The next thing we're going to want to do is result dot push array at position one. And that gives us four, one, two, three. And then finally, we're going to go result.push, um, dot, 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 array two, um, dot slice, and then n at position. And then to the end, we're going to go array two dot length. Cool. So now we're getting what looks like the right answer. If we were on the test, it looks like the pass. OK, cool. But let's talk about why this happens. OK, so first off, we're adding to the result array. Um, everything from position 0 to n, so 0 to 1, so we're just the 4, we're adding that to the result array. On our second one, we're adding in all of the positions here. And then on our third one, we're going from the position n, which is 1, to the end of the array, which is, in this example, it's 2. So we're going to position 5. And then, um, yeah, I mean, we could console.log the result here. And you see we've got 4 initially. Um, at this point, we have four, and then one, two, three, and then at this point, we have four, one, two, three, five, and so we're just sort of piecemealing it on there because um, that's what this specific array requirement wants. Um, yeah, if we were to pop this guy in here, that might be a better way of describing how to do this. Here we've got head, shoulders, claw, tentacle, knees, toes. So our positions at two and so this is our our second array and our so we're going to zero zero to one and one to two so we've got head and shoulders we put that in there first so here we have um, head and shoulders and then here we add all the things that are in part of array one so claw and tentacle. And then finally here, we have 
the result, which ends up being pumped out to here. So head, shoulders, claw, tentacle, and then knees and toes adds on at the end. Because uh, array two, if you were to slice at position two until the end of the array, zero, one, and then knees and toes, we get that. So yeah, that's how that works. If we run the test, I'll still, still pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.